on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. It's how the world works now! We are those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine? Clementine! She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Die! We... I saw my parents. I know. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no! That don't mean it, Krista. What do you think? Oh, Mage, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omid Jr. Omid is a good name. I like it. Thank you, Clementine. You always agree with him. Because I'm always right. You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Hello?
please have water? Figures. I see you. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. Who are you? None of your business. Are you gonna hurt me? Only if you're stupid. Get out here. Got anything on you? Come on, let's see. No, that's all I have. That's it? How'd you make it this long? I'm serious, what else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me, I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around, come on. I don't have anything. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. My dad gave it to me. Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo.
Krista, talk to me. This will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. There's more smoke than flame. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... We can't build a big fire at night. It attracts too much attention. It's too dangerous when we're out here by ourselves. We need to eat, don't we? We can't survive without food. Freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold. Or... So they say. We just need to keep moving north. Hi, Miss Lee. I'm sure you do. <sighs> I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Still not enough. The flames are too low. This might burn.
I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. It's it's just me. Come on, guys. What the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! <laughs> Are you there?
okay, boy. It's okay. <coughs> Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. What's he doing? <coughs> Sam! Sam! Where are you going? Wait up! Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. Hmm, nothing edible. Wanna play? Wanna play catch? <coughs> okay, bring it back. Good boy, Sam. Wanna go again? Go get it, Sam. I bet you miss this. I sure do. <sighs> Empty. Better keep looking, huh, Sam? It's not much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. <coughs> What's the matter, Sam? <coughs> Shh, we have to be quiet. the bite looks like he tried to cut it out but that never works ever it's okay we're smart and he's not we're smarter than all of them Back, okay.
We just have to stay out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. Pretty sharp. At least we found something useful. We won't go another night without food, okay? <sighs> well, here we go. God, thank you. Look, Sam, a can. <gasps> Let's see what's inside. Please don't be bad. I guess you're pretty hungry, too. Here you go. Hey, don't eat it all!
I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Come on, kid. We gotta get. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you alright? I'm fine. Just let me be. Oh, was that so? Because last time I saw you, you could barely crawl away from that lurker back there. Look, you're in bad shape, kid. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. I'm alone. Everyone I know is gone. It's just me now. I'm sorry to hear that. I just lost a sister. We've all lost folks. Well, I'm Luke. And this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, 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 what are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. It was, I swear. Swearing doesn't make something so... No, 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 I'm telling you the truth. Please. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. Now what, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You looked me in the eyes when you answered. Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened... You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit.
What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. Just let me... <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? Just let me go. If you don't want to help me, then, then I'll leave. Look, I'm sorry I bothered you. All right, we'll talk about it later. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now, what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm, whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would. You're a doctor, right? Aren't you supposed to help people that are hurt? I promise you, it was just a dog bite. That's all it was. We'll know soon enough, young lady. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. I don't mean to cause any trouble. I just wanted to find help. But if you let me go, I promise you'll never see me again. And where exactly would you go? To find help somewhere else if I can. I understand you're scared. And I feel terrible delaying treatment. But we've got to be sure. <sighs> so, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. Well, we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by. Alvin, it. please. But yeah. We can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it, stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's alright. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time, you'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shit. It was a dog, you'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry.
doing this? Fucking dumb. Because it's safer this way, then I'd rather be sure of death. Okay. I can't believe this. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. stitches. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. What are you doing? I... I need your help. Me? No. I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. Please. I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shit. Carlos will take care of you in the morning. You just let me die? I wouldn't let you do nothing. It's not my call. We're a group. But you could help. And if you don't, isn't that the same? I don't know, all right? I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious. You gotta go. I got enough problems already. Please help. Please. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm just... tired. You're not with Carver. No. And you didn't get bit by a dead person. No. I'll do anything I can to help your situation. Anything. Except leave me alone. Yeah, I guess. 
I'm screwed if anyone finds out I did this. You understand? Yes. What do you need? The bu the cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitched? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. All right, look. I don't know what I can find. We're short on bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. I need something to clean it out with. And a needle and thread could help, too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies on lockdown. We don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get, I'll find the rest on my own. Okay, wait here. I found you some bandages. And I, uh, I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty. You. Alvin, house meeting in five minutes. Oh, okay, thanks. Now you need to go. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this.
clean. I'll still need something to keep it from getting infected. Get me in sometime. this baby. <laughs> to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me, and I won't tell him. I... I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. To you. A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. You want to see it? Uh, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Okay. Ew, gross. I know, right? You have to bandage it like my dad does. Yeah, I know. Help me. just need something to clean it with. I bet it would be with the rest of your medical supplies. Yeah, it is. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Yes. We are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Friends. A pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Okay. I better get somewhere safer to do this.
This is gonna suck. Fun part. Crystal showed me. Get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? 
Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. She knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there. She would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for... for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. 
Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Well, well I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He told me to stay away from cities. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Maybe you fooled everyone else, but not me. What? Who? Don't pull that shit on me. I'm not my husband. What? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Yes, you do. I just needed some help. Well, you got it. Now go. I won't stay long. Good, because I don't trust you. And stay the hell away from my husband. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her. She's mean. I don't like her. She did come on a little strong. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridgeline. 
The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. This one's shot, too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissing match. What was it, then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Cause they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look. Just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were.
Do I know you? <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me! Please. Fine. Just, just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way. Ah, bitch. Damn it. You get your asses over here, both I'll of you. I'll cover you. We gotta get out of here. Get over here, god damn it. Come on. Come on. Jesus. Ah! Ah! gonna do Someone's outside Someone came here looking for you a man What did he say what his name was We know damn well who it was Who is he One of the guys we were with before What's he gonna do I can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. your every breath the life is for the living in the water oh you feel that you should run but where are you to hide in the water oh against the tide struggle skin wearing skin wearing against the time we struggle to keep our heads above the deep and our hearts above the line above the line we value your life and blood this is not our home Water. Oh, yeah, I hope he is 
never found Just try and keep your way In the water Oh and Against the time struggle For skin wearing, skin wearing Against the time struggle To keep our heads above the deep The hearts above the light, above the light. And who we are today can never make amends for what we've done. Tainted blood in his eyes, his eyes are full of love. Forgive them, release them. Oh, 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 oh. Against the tide. Struggle the skin wearing, skin wearing against the time we struggle to keep our heads above the deep and our hearts above the light, above the light.